Yeah, I think, um, you know, we really challenged our team the last couple of days just to, to keep working defensively. We've got a long way to go. Um, today was a little bit better uh, than it was the other night. Uh, still came out a little bit flat in the third quarter. 20 points in a quarter is probably too much for what we really want. But thought our help side was better. I thought we were dis more disciplined down in the stance off the ball. Um, you know, watched a lot of tape the other night uh, after the other night's game. And I thought we responded. Um, that's, that's really what we're looking for out there. And um, we'll just keep staying the course to, to keep getting better. Um, in regards to, to Caitlin and Slick, um, you know, I think they just did exactly what we asked them to do. Uh, just be physical with her, always have a, have a contact with her, sit on her left hand on the perimeter, and then take away her right shoulder inside. And, um, you know, anytime she turned over her left shoulder, we, we were there uh, with, with long arms from a guard, from a guard's position, just kind of making her play um, in traffic. And, uh, you know, I think, but that, that starts with Caitlin and, and Ricky just being physical and, and getting her off her spots. Gotcha. And it's kind of a, a two-parter, but uh, talking about Laisha and kind of what she contributed tonight, it looks like she can take a shot from anywhere. And, uh, and then on the other end, kind of staying out of foul trouble on defense. Yeah, we challenged her to, to to be a little bit more more careful with uh, the defensive end, but uh, you know she did a good job of, you know, um, not necessarily hunting for shots today. Um, I think you know she took some through the flow of offense. I think that's something that Laisha has that nobody really has on our offense on our team that that can kind of go create and, and get her own, and we don't want to take that away from her. Um, so today I thought she did a really good job of picking and choosing her moments. Um, defensively, she's still someone that's kind of learning uh, our system. Um, and, and, and in that regard, has a, has a long way to go for us. But you know, the the the, the reason why Alicia is here is because we needed a bucket getter. We need somebody who could go get a bucket in transition and score consistently. Um, you know, and that's we'll just uh, kind of stay the course and keep learning, keep learning how to play with her, play off of her. Um, and then I know she's going to keep keep doing the same on her on her part. Gotcha. And then offensively, uh, how did you feel that plays were executed today? Any little things you picked up on? I mean from setting solid screens, staring down cutters? Or. Yeah, honestly, I think the only thing, the only time we kind of started scratching our head was maybe the end of the second quarter when they went to a little zone. Um, we got a little passive, uh, didn't really attack the gaps with the drive, kind of pass the ball around a perimeter. Um, other than that, I thought they did a really good job of executing what we wanted. Um, you know, we, we thought we had some looks that we could get them in the open floor and transition, and, and we pushed tempo there. Um, I think out of timeouts, our, our ATOs and, and quarter plays, I thought we did a good job of executing. Whether we scored or not, I thought they did a good job of really understanding what we were looking for. And, and for the most part, I think um, they were pretty successful. Gotcha. Thank you. Katie, each quarter you guys came out firing uh, fast starts. What was the key behind that? Um, just challenging them every every quarter just to reset it, you know, zero zero. Um, let's win five minutes at a time. Uh, don't look at a forty minute game. Just like, kind of focus in on on the first five minutes of every quarter, uh, making sure we we won all of those, you know, all those little five minute segments. Um, you know, we we did a really good job the other night against Marshall of coming out in that first quarter, and so just every quarter it was a reminder. Hey, it's zero zero. Same kind of punch. Same kind of intensity, and uh, you know, we scored twenty points for four quarters. You know, we're going to have 80 points. I, I like uh, Purdue winning a lot of basketball games. At yeah, three points a day. How, how valuable is it for you um, to have such a balanced team offensively? You know, I think our, our value is, you know, how, how do you scout us, right? Who, who do you stop? Um, you know, do you game plan for Caitlin? Because now Laisha and Mads can get it going. Do you, do you game plan for Laisha and Jayla on the perimeter? Because now we're going to throw it into to Ricky and, and Caitlin inside. Um, and then I think, you know, Janae just does a good job of picking her her, her moments. Um, I thought Cass did a really good job of not hunting shots today, and defensively was just really really solid for us. Um, you know, and then you know we're we're going to start to add Abby in here. You just got a lot of pieces on the perimeter, so um, and then you throw in Caitlin and Ricky inside. But so what are you going to do to t to stop us? Like what are you going to take away from us? And then whatever you choose, we're going to find a way to counter it. Um, and that's kind of just how we're going to have to be all year. Uh, you know, obviously Caitlin or sorry, Laisha scored twenty three today, but. You know, it could be anybody. It could be Jayla scoring 20 the next game. It could be Abby the next game. I think it's just going to be the makeup of our basketball team. What do you take away from JT's start to this season? Um, the biggest thing I take away from, from this game is her attention to detail on the defensive end. Uh, we, we really challenge her. Obviously, we're going to get 
rebounds and assists from from Janae. Um, you know, and, and points are whatever, you know, you know, always a always a bonus for her, right? For for us. But um, you know, we, we watched the tape with her the other night and just kinda challenged her off the ball to, to be to me be more attentive, right? Sit down in the stance a little bit more. Um, and I think I think you could see like her and I may just making eye contact almost after every play, like you know, like yes, you're in the right spot. Make sure you're dropping down. Make sure you're in a stance. Her her effort on the defensive end was really really special for our team. And if she can continue to do that, the points and the rebound or the 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 assists and the rebounds are always going to be there because that's just who she is. But if she can guard like that, she makes us a very dangerous basketball team. And then last one for me, uh, the turnovers. I think you guys cut them in half from last game. How important is that for you and and what you want to do with the softens? Yeah, we, we, you know, obviously we want to go, we want to double up our assist to turnovers and we're going to play fast. So we're going to have some, some turnovers, maybe some careless ones, but um, for the most part, we did a really good job. I mean, we have seven turnovers and this is Abby's first game and she's got three of them, right? So, you know, just kind of finding our way. I still think we're still figuring out how to play with Caitlin inside. Um, she's different than Ricky. Um, I think so we're trying to figure out how to play off the ball with Laisha and, and where she wants us to cut. Um, but 25 to seven is really, really special. Um, and uh, that's a number I always like to look at after the game. So we can keep that going. Um, I like our chances. Cool. Thanks, y'all.